guys, my name is Ashton. My name is Art. And we are Trilogy, Trilogy Media. Media. We are in Mazatlan, Mexico, filming a gigantic scammer expose. And you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna expose the world's dumbest scammer. Again! <laughs> It's our job on this channel to confront scammers, expose them to the world, and hopefully prevent other people from being scammed, but it's really damn difficult to do that when YouTube removes our videos, like this one was removed from back from 2021. Can you imagine when somebody literally humiliated you, right, the way we did to these scammers? Humiliated you. We humiliated, Himalai! <laughs> we humiliated the scammer, and three years later, his nightmare is back. Trilogy Media is here. He got what he wanted and the video was removed. So you know what? We're gonna give him the gift of reposting it, but we're not just gonna recycle. I already see the comments. People are gonna be like, oh, oh you're, you're just you're recycling it. the same shit. No, we're not just gonna repost the same edit. We're gonna take the opportunity of being in this beautiful area to refilm some stuff, give you some new insight on this old ass scam bait, give you some updates about what's happened with this scammer since, and hum humiliate him once again. Humiliation must be present Humiliation in this video. is the best way to go. <laughs> now, come with us on this journey while we re-expose the dumbest scammer we've ever encountered and have some fun while doing it. It's gonna be awesome. I actually don't even remember the majority of that video. I wanna rewatch, I wanna relearn, and I wanna see what else we can add to this freaking dumbest scammer. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's, Let's go. go! Brother, every single time, you know how I'm like, I'm love my statistics, you know, like Russian statistics, mm. and I watch like a hawk everything what's happening to our channel. Recently, unfortunately, when you go to your uh, creator uh, studio and you see that video got removed and they're gonna put that big red dick in mm -hmm. your face yes. and it says removed. Yes. <clears throat> Fun fact, uh, this video was originally posted on May 8th of 2021 and it was removed on August 4th, 2023. They Bullshit! YouTube, so, YouTube, you're late for the party. So my question is, which one is right, okay? <laughs> Either it was up for two years when it shouldn't have been, or they removed it wrongfully. And I'm gonna explain in explicit detail why the latter is the case. And I love this video so much. I love my This answer. was on our, our greatest hits playlist for a Exposing long time. Exposing the world's dumbest Scammer. So as we said earlier, this video, we're, we're not just gonna just take the same upload and no. just re-upload it, because that's whatever. I, and I already know the comments are gonna come in about, oh, you're recycling, f*** you, okay? Yeah, well, that, 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 we're, uh, we're poor cousin? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> so they'll, they'll, this is exactly. orgasm. You're, this you're, is learning, orgasm. you're learning my, my coinage. A porgasm, if you watch Stupid <laughs> Bullshit on Trilogy Plus, meaning uh, someone that has to find a way to make this a problem for them. It's, it's poor me, right, that I have to watch yeah, this. to porgasms. People. Well, thanks for the click, at least. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we figured, since yeah. we haven't done a spam email video in a long time, let's revisit this, because I don't even remember half the shit we did in this video. Nothing. Let's revisit it, let's talk about what's happened since. Let's relive it, let's re-expose the scammer, because why not? And let's have some fun while doing it. If you want to see more of these uh, spam email videos, whether they're revisiting or new ones, let us know in the comments. I want to first explain before we get in, because what we're going to do is we're going to re-go through the email chain that led up to the video chats with the scammer. Uh, but before we do, I want to uh, refresh both of our memories as to why this video was oh, removed. Right. What is YouTube's excuse? Because there's always one, and it's this time. Mm. Um, so this is a video, uh, this is an email I received on August 4th, 2023. YouTube removed your content. And there's a nice little megaphone icon in the subject line. That's actually screaming in your face. Yeah. You've been removed. Like, go f <laughs> you, creator. Hi, Trilogy Media. We want to let you know that our team reviewed your content two and a half years later, I might I add. And we think it, vi we think <laughs> it violates our policy on personally identifiable information. Okay, that's key, remember that. Uh, we know you may not have realized this was a violation of our policy, so we're not applying a strike to your channel. However, we have removed the following content from YouTube, exposing the world's dumbest scammer. It's a great title because it's true. You'll see why. And you know, the other thing too is we've had a lot more subscribers come since this video was posted that have no idea this video even exists. Exactly. So that's another benefit of doing this. So anyway, I digress. Time it occurred, you can see an example at 4.22, four minutes, 20 seconds in your video. That's the point that made this video get removed. You know what's at 4.22 in this video? I'm gonna go time code. Quick you point. have gigantic f***ing red people on your nose. Somebody lived on your nose. I'm, I'm really, Who paid rent I'm on your very nose? happy that you redrew attention to it three and a half years later. This is the moment in the video that caused YouTube to remove this. I wanna know why. This screenshot showing personally identifiable information showing an email address 
this horrible crime we committed? Ryan Benson! My email address! So you're the problem. I told you so many times, Ashton and whatever associates okay. with Ashton is the problem. Take your bullshit, shove it up your ass. The point here is, the fact that I showed a disposable email address that I only use for scam baiting, which I've shown in at least 50 other videos on this channel, which it's never been a problem then, now it's a problem. That is the problem. It's we the inconsistency in which these things are enforced. It fucking makes me crazy. Back in the days when we used to live together and we were scam bait in our living room, we used that email. Ryan Benson has oh, been a thing since the beginning of <coughs> our Ryan channel. Benson is a thing. And this email I've used for so many scam baits, I've never blurred it. There's no need to. I don't give a shit about it. I don't do any business on this email. I don't care about it. The oh. fact that it's shown. Can you be serious for no, 10 I seconds? I just want to show you YouTube megaphone. Megaphone. You've been removed, Yeah, Ryan Benson. I figured. We realize this may be disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. If you think we've made a mistake, you can appeal this decision. You'll find more details below. Now, here's the policy. Boy. Content that shares, threatens to share, encourages others to share, non-public, personally identifiable information isn't allowed on YouTube. That's like sharing someone's passport picture or someone's social security number. Mm -hmm. But I show a scam bait Gmail, and that's somehow the same. So you're not allowed to share your own Gmail? Allegedly. This includes, but it's not limited to, an individual's home address, email address, but it's not, pu it's pu it's pu it's <laughs> bullshit. If someone's email is public, which many are, it shouldn't be in the same sentence as home address. That's bullshit. I kind of miss, when is uh, your new anger management uh, um, episode It might soon? be right now. <laughs> so anyway, we're given the option to appeal, which I did. Yeah. And, uh, Nothing happened? Well, no, something happened. So I appealed it immediately. This came in at 8.34 in the morning on August 4th, this, this removal. I appealed it immediately. And a mere hours later, 12.25, which, you know, I probably appealed it as soon as I saw it, this came in no more than an hour or two after I appealed it. Mm. Hi, Trilogy Media. We have reviewed your appeal for the following, exposing world's dumbest scammer. We reviewed your content carefully, which is horseshit, how and have confirmed that it violates our policy on personally identifiable information. We know this is probably disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. Yeah, it sucks because I really loved that video, and I was like, and I saw it, and I was like, yo, Ash, you, you're the ones who speak English in the family. Go appeal that shit. Tell them how you feel. And he did. So in YouTube's uh, mm. desperate mission in protecting the faces of the guilty and the identities of scammers, we figured we would reapply all the world's attention to this scammer as a result. So the opposite effect will end up happening for this scammer, which is kind of funny and ironic. I don't remember shit yeah. about this video. Well, I know I'll it was you. hilarious. I'm gonna go through I the email. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna go through the, it's not very long, the email exchange as to what started the scam. And then I would like to, because I haven't watched this in a long time, but I know about halfway through, I did get him on video chat and I wanna rewatch that with you now before we go and retrace our steps up to this point. And I actually had a very brief exchange with the scammer this morning, three years later, which we'll talk about towards the end of this video. This was the spam email. It came from an email address, which I guess we'll have to blur now. NationsUnited089 at gmail.com. Oh, shit. United Nations Office of International Oversight Services. Oversight services. Oversight, yeah. Oversight me. Um, it's a whole long email full of bullshit. This is to inform you that I came to Benin Republic yesterday from New York after a series of meetings with President Joe Biden, even though he hadn't Joe actually Biden? taken office yet. It was January 3rd, 21. 2021. <laughs> Um, what the World fuck was Bank that? President Robert, so blah, blah, blah. I've met with Benin, newly installed President Federal Benin. Okay, anyway, they want $4.5 million. Compensation part payment of $4.5 million to all affected beneficiaries, which you are among. The only fee you'll have to pay to confirm your funding your possession is your notarization fee to the UN. $350. So, so reach Ashland. So be advice. <laughs> to contact me immediately, you get this email now because everything has been done okay. And for your information, once again, note that this is not one of those Nigerian slash Benin African scams, that all they are after is to ripe you off your money. And at the end, you will not receive your funds. But note that this is no scam and is directly from our president, Joe Biden. So they're using the knowledge and fear of scams 
to scam you. So once you send the money, notify me with the MTCN, which is the confirmation number for wire transfer, for easy pickup and for immediate action on the release of your funds. Since you was unable to receive your payment of 10,000, so they went from 10,000 to 4.5 million. It's a little bit of a jump, but this is it. They already gave a mules, and maybe not even a mule, it could actually be a real a real scammer. The receiver's name, Eric Oja, Benin Republic, Cotino. I still haven't looked up how to pronounce that. Code 229, and this is where it got interesting. He wanted a test question and an answer. So as some kind of fail safe to make sure that whatever the hell that means, test question A, answer B. And I do remember we made some changes to the test question and answer. $350, I have very limited time to stay Only. in Benin. So I would like you to urgently respond to this message for more directives. For oral discussion, call me on this number, which I just acquired in yesterday. Phone number, sincerely yours, Mrs. Mary Muhammad, United Nations Undersecretary, like under Anastasia. How do you say in English, why do you oral people? I would never say that in English. So why did he say for, for oral, oral discussion? It doesn't make sense. It's insinuating there's other kinds of discussion, which I guess is technically true. But I think oral your... I think oral discussion is the default form of discussion. This was also back when they were sending these spam emails through a, a, a Google form, which I don't know if that's supposed to bypass the spam folders or what the what the thinking was there. But this used to happen quite often. But this they didn't put a title on the form, just as untitled form. And if you click to fill out the form, which he never asked me to do, but I can click to fill out the form. And, uh, oh, well, okay, it makes sense that it doesn't exist uh, anymore, yeah. but I do remember it not being anything to fill out. Like, they didn't even bother to put a name to or any kind of thing. Inside. So anyway, um, I got this email, and of course I replied. Um, and, I'm, and I'm learning, I'm refreshing my memory now as I'm going through this. Ryan Benson, don't show Ryan's email though. That's great news, how fast can I get my payment? Attention Ryan Benson, from the United Nations, if you didn't remember. I'm here on your representation. I'm fully aware of the Benin corruption, which I know might be the reason why you're being reluctant towards my... I, I never was reluctant. I said, just let's do it. Uh, where's yeah. the reluctancy? Yeah. Um, so anyway, re reiterates that uh, 350 USD is what's going to be sent. No more fee required to get your funds because every necessary documents that cover your funds from FBI and IMF also funds immunity from Homeland Security. It's, they're just, it's like AI wrote it, but like three years ago. Uh, the fee is made, so you'd be able to do it to proceed immediately to your closed money gram and have the fee wired to below information. And they changed it. Now it's going to Vict OB, uh, Benin Republic, Cotton New, 229, I don't know. Test question, they changed it. God, answer, trust. Sincerely yours, Mrs. Mary Muhammad, United Nations, under Anastasia. And then they replied, I didn't reply right away because I was probably fucking busy. Did you get my email? And then again, thank you, Catherine Grawl. Who the f is Catherine Grawl? Well, for your mail and understanding as well. I think they probably copied and pasted the wrong email to the wrong person. Uh, this is not a childish play because there is no way I will use because of 350 to make mockery of myself or wasting my time. The reason why I contacted you for the first time is because your 4.5 million USD was registered in my hand. And as this issue on my hand, it become necessary for me to make sure that this funds is hand over to you handing one piece, not like the previous email scammers of Benin Republic. And they put uh, 5 million USD together. So stop entertaining fears. <laughs> as long as you're being oral. I am. I'm <laughs> I'm assuring you that this is real and not a joke, because at my age, I will not be joking or playing with a serious issue as this. <laughs> and then again, did you not read my email? Because I just fucking, I need my 350. Anyway, I finally did get it and replied, Hi, Miss Mary. So sorry for the delay. I'm very interested and have no problem sending the money. However, I would feel more comfortable if we please change the test question and answer. Here's my new question and answer for payment. Test question. Pasty. Answer. Oh my god. Avocados. I forgot about that. Here's my personal cell phone number so we can talk. Blah, blah, blah. And again, they sent a third receiver's name, Herb Zoya. And they embraced the pasty avocados, ah. which is great. Did you get the information? Hello, Ryan. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? I'm urging her. Yeah. I'm urging her to- You changed questions. I did, well we did, we did this together. It's in the video. But I, I wanted her to text me. I wanted to get off email because I want to eventually get to a video chat. Uh, I'm ready to send the payment, but I have some questions. Also one small problem, I'm no longer able to use the avocado question and answer. So here's a new one, invisible noodles. But you know the irony right now? Because of noodles. We so didn't know noodles zero yet. Zero day, yeah. our brother, Ryan Montgomery, and his name is Ryan and he is Noodle fan. Noodles. We call him Noodles, but we didn't. We didn't know Ryan in 2021. Right, right. Uh, hello, please text me. Blah blah blah. Did you get my text? How long will it take you to send the fee? They just want the fee. They want the fee. They want the fee. Your number's international. Please text me from a U.S. phone number. Listen to me if you don't want to send the fee. Stop contacting me again. So our video. I was home alone. I was texting at this point. Please message me on Google Hangouts. Oh, okay. So this is the first time I called them.
Hello? Hello? Yeah, Mary? This is Ryan. Hello? Mary? Huh? Yeah, hi. Did you get my Google invite? I have the cards to show you. I uh, send the payments. Yeah, I'm trying to, but I need you to say on Google Hangout so I can show them to you. Yeah, send it. Yeah, you gotta message me. Is is it? it I still get the payment, right? Yes. <laughs> Was it supposed to be three fifty or seven hundred dollars? Yes. Yeah, seven hundred. Oh, okay, so you know you know Gary, right? You you two work together. Yeah, I signed it. Okay, um, message me on Google Hangout so I can show you that I have two cards for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> He's feeding her answers behind the phone. Gary. Gary. Okay, there we go. And then they called me. Hello. Hello? Yeah, we have been waiting. Are you making the payment? You know better pay. No, it, nothing came through. There's no message. I sent you a message on a hangout. No. There's no, that any oh, there. there's no message. message. No, you gotta try again because nothing came through. Oh, God, man. You have to send it by email. Just send it by email. I sent you a link to my Google Hangout. If you just come there, I'll show them there. Okay, okay. Let me let me check it. Check your email. Oh, they you. Okay. Yeah. This is Who the hell was disaster. that? Disaster. There's another person. Was it like it didn't sound like Mary? So then Zenith Bank joined my Google Hangout. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't. I can't see you yet. What? I can't see you. Yeah, it's it's dark here. It's already it's already night. No, I can see the floor. You just gotta. I just want to say see you first, and I'll give you the cards here. I see me. I can see the window. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are you Mary? Yes. Hi, Mary. Yes. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How long have you worked for the United Nations? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> how how long? Long time? Yes. Oh, okay. That's cool. Can I say hi to your uh, your colleague there? I can Send it them. I can hear him talking. I'll just tell him to say hi and I'll, I got I got the card right here. Listen, listen, okay? Mary Mary no understand English very well, okay? That's the issue. So you have to send the send the card over here. Okay? Yeah, your English is your English is fine. Let me just see hi to you and then I, I'll give you the cards right here. Well, well our country is a French country, so we do not speak English. Much yeah, much yeah, you No, your English no, your English is great. You should give yourself more credit. Yeah, okay, okay. You never okay, told me that. So that she can speak with you. No, 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 just you. You is fine. I want to see you. Hi. Yeah, all you. Right. See me over here. Oh, hi. How are you? You're shirtless. <laughs> nice to meet you. Half naked. Yeah, Agent sir, yeah. from United Do you work for the United Nations also? Look, he's laughing. He's laughing. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. She said, oh, yeah. Well, I've been working for United Nations for over years. What, what, what's your name? I don't think I, I got your name. My name is um, Kevin Jerry. Kevin Jerry. Kevin Jared. So, I, so send the card over here so we can meet up. There's no time here. Oh, I see. Okay, so you you just need this. Like, what, do you want the number here, or what, do you want me to send it to you? Like, uh, type it or what? Send the number to me. Okay, send let the number to. You. Okay, I'll send it right now. I send it to by email. Yeah, I'll send it by email. E I'll send an email right now. Yeah, thank you. All right, bye bye. Bless you. Bless you too. Happy. <laughs>
happy Go New Year. Go! Oh, happy New Year to you. Did you do anything fun? Yeah, yeah. Now we, well, we, we, you know, we celebrate, we celebrate the New Year. We ah, push it in. We have so some fun on New Year. What does it look like outside? Can I see outside? I'm just curious. Uh, you know, Africa is very dark. Africa, um, Africa is very Africa dark. Is it's not dark at all. <laughs> she, she's doing it. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you have to send the card right now, okay? Okay. There's no time. So, for the, for the transaction. Okay, I'll send it right now. Yeah, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. So we're definitely having a lot of blast exposing scammers. A lot of blast. <laughs> blast me. We're having a blast re-exposing this dumbass. But you know what? It's not every day that we're in Mexico. So we're gonna go look for some iguanas. <gasps> I love iguanas. Let's go. And they hate me. They don't like me. I love them iguanas. Yes. I don't blame them to be honest. Let's do what we came here for. We look, I'm looking for, find an iguana, iguana yeah, sniffer. Yeah, but how do you call them? <laughs> iguana, I don't, there's no calling card for fucking iguanas. I know which hole to dig. Okay. We just have to go like down this route and we're gonna see them. Iguanas, iguanas, iguanas. I thought you were a skilled iguana finder. Yeah, of course, when you need iguana. How often do you need an iguana? Senor, disculpa. Right? Fully hablo espanol. Okay. Fully, fully. Hundredo <laughs> percento. No. Okay. We're looking for iguanas. Iguanas. Okay. Iguanas, the muchachos, yeah. pendejos, long tailos. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, my English is so bad. Oh no, no. <laughs> muito buena, muito buena ingloso. No, no, yo, no, ah, yo, 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 Shit. I'm gonna call him later. The one we spotted before was when we were in the golf cart on this path. Yeah, so. I know. But this morning, I f two of them. You f two of them? While we're on the hunt for an iguana, I'd like to shout out the sponsor of this video, Guardio. Guardio, Who? thank you. Ah! I wanna say thank you to Guardio for sponsoring this video. No matter how many times YouTube can demonetize us, remove our videos, protect the scammers, protect the predators, Guardia will be there to not only support us and our content, but will be there to protect from whatever the hell might happen. <laughs> you're supposed to sense danger. There is no danger. You're kind of like the Guardio of our group right now. Ashton, how's your walk? I'm not a walker. You're not a walker? You didn't guess, but I can walk safely knowing Guardio's here to protect us from anything, anywhere. The best real-time browsing protection you could possibly find. Identity theft monitoring, spam email protection, spam text message protection. You got something to add? Five? Five. If you want to protect yourself, but you want to protect your family, you don't have to pay for anybody except yourself. Just get one account and you can add up to five family members. Good up morning. Five. Hello. Up to five family members. Did I say good morning? Yeah. At 6 p.m.? It's 6 p.m. <laughs> One subscription covers up to five family members for the best real-time browsing protection, the best identity theft monitoring, the best overall cybersecurity protection, one-stop shop, Guardio. If you use our link, not only do you get seven days for free, but you get a huge discount off of the membership. Guard.io slash Trilogy is the place to go. We're hunting for iguanas because we've come to find out since being here that they're f***ing everywhere and they're huge. They, they're f***ing everywhere? Yeah. I think they're sleeping. I think iguanas, they wake up yeah. early. And they I go saw, to sleep. I saw you on a Facebook community post. <laughs> yeah. They're like, watch out for this asshole. He'll grab you by the tail. Iguanas can Facebook post. Yeah. Yeah. Your whole family can shower together and have one subscription to Guardigo at the same time. Ah! <laughs> what else in Mexico can we explore? This is fun. What are you doing? You gotta shake. You gotta wrestle out the fucking <laughs> iguanas. Hey, go <laughs> wrestle me. Trying to get them waking up, man. They're in there. You know they're in there. I told you they were sleeping. That's why in the morning you see them with so many of them because they're awake. She said some crabs over there, no iguanas. No crabs? Your are relatives. Good. Is Guardia the bottle? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're more than a bottle, <laughs> but that is a bottle. <laughs> that stick looks like one. Look at it. Doesn't it? Look this at one? it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From this angle, looks like a fucking iguana. Look at it. So, according to Ashton, well, this is... Now it doesn't. This is iguana, <laughs> no. according to Ashton. You see that cactus? Sit on it. All right, you're on your I, own. I found it. You're on your own. Guys, I found it. I found the iguana. I swear, come here. Oh my God, you're right. 
Of I thought you were I'm kidding. Right. I thought you were kidding. Yeah, that's an iguana, but it doesn't do us any good. He's in the rocks. <laughs> so they went to sleep. Well, he did. That's a big fucker too. I thought you were shitting. I thought I totally thought I he was, was pulling my chain. I was literally just you, want I, to I, smuggle. Yeah, I thought you were just f***ing with me. And then I, I saw the. You were gonna do that and then pull the cardio bottle. Out. <laughs> That's what I want. Well, do, do that. No, I want to do that. Okay, go. Like, like, By no, yourself. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, be nonchalant and do it. What is Guardia. nonchalant? bitch. <laughs> <laughs> A one hour iguana hunt, we found one dick. Oh, jeez. They must be here. They are here. Oh my god. Are you sniffing it? Okay. Another one. No way. They go in the holes. Wow. Yeah. We gotta come back in the morning. Like literally, all you see is like little tail. Guardio. We wanna thank Guardio for sponsoring this video and every video on the Trilogy Media channel. Despite the ridiculousness of everything that has happened in the last hour, everything. Let me know when it's action. We're actioning. All right, action. Hi everybody, this is Weasel, and guess what, you're not gonna believe, I am in Mexico. And I've been, you know, like, looking around, gathering around, I found this Goomba, unfortunately, wow. in my life. And, uh, get to the point. I wanna get, um, Ash, I wanna get some berries or strawberries, or maybe these. <gasps> Look at this, my face! <laughs> This is the stupidest oh integration I've ever seen in my life. I got this accidentally. I found in Mexico a Guardio bottle. Wow. <laughs> Let's talk about Guardio. You can't use this. I love Guardio, but I hate this integration so much. Before my business partner is going to kill me right now, I'm just going to tell you this. Guard.io slash Trilogy. It's the only not good thing you've said. The only reason you're able to watch this shit integration is because Guardio supports our content for some reason, and uh, we're able to be here filming Busting Scammers. We love Guardio. It's the only reason why we're able to do this every day. The only reason why we're able to browse the internet safely. The only reason we have a one-stop shop, all-in-one cybersecurity yes. tool for us, for Trilogy Media, and for you and your family, your entire family, for one subscription. Open your mouth. That's how you do it. What's in here? Guardio. Guardio didn't protect me from that, but that's about the only thing they won't protect you from. It's from asshole 64 Russian brothers. I mean, I guess I had that coming. If you don't want to get soaked by the dangers of the internet, get Guardio. What the f are you doing? What's your... This is a disaster. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you so much. Guard.io slash Trilogy. You're going to get not only seven days for free, they're going to remind you before the trial expires, two days before. I mean, who does that? Also, you get a huge discount off the entire subscription, of which you get up to five family members completely included under one subscription. Guardio, we love you. Guardio, we thank you. And you, watching this now, Guard.io slash Trilogy. I'm going to get a towel. This is one of the first times, not the first time, but one of the first times I got a scammer to show their face. And so I was like, holy this shit. So anyway, this, this happened late at night. We weren't at the office, so I was like, holy shit. Oh, and he did eventually click it, the tracking link. It put him in the UK, which is probably a VPN. Uh, the technology of this has actually come quite far since. But time zone? Yeah, time zone says Lego. So it's, he's probably in Nigeria. Um, but anyway, he clicked it. Um, I got him on the phone again before I got you involved the next day. Here we go. Right here, let me see. This one? Is it, yeah, the, me. is it the barcode you need? Yeah, sure, it's me here, so I can see it. Yeah, but I can't see you, I can't see you anymore. Can you go into the light so I can? I know, I know, I got you. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There, you're, you're, a, you're a handsome man, you know that? <laughs> Thank you. Show me the Here you go. Uh, sure, it's clear, no, no, you can buy this up. Sorry, Just sorry, sorry. No, turn it, turn it, turn it. Turn it, turn it, I can't see it. Is it, is it this number here? Yeah, I can't see the number where, just turn it. 
no, 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 no. The number of the odd wow. number I'm talking about, not this one. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, wait, it's dark again. Where, where'd you go? Yeah, see me over here right now. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Are you? Uh, see, you look yeah. a you look a little bit a little bit naked. <laughs> I can show you the shirt and send it. Should I take my shirt off too? Should we should we join the join the party together here and have a little post New Year celebration? Yeah. Show it here. Show it here. That is, that that is is that it there? So how much is this card now? Ten, this one has only ten dollars on it. Wow. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I know. I'm gonna get the other the rest tomorrow. I swear. I'll, I'll even throw in a little bit more just for your time. A little, little extra. Tomorrow morning, I'll give you a call. Oh, okay. sounds good. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Zenith Bank. Has left the meeting. So now, Weasel's involved. Hello. Hello. How are you? Mary, is that Mary? Yeah. <laughs> I told you to that that the car. It is already like here. It's already like everywhere. I I know, but my phone is. Don't jump. Ah! <laughs> my phone isn't working. I need you to come come into the video chat really quick so I can show them to you. My phone isn't working right. Oh my God! Just tell me that we can't see ourselves here. It is already night here. I know, but it's turn, red turn, light turn on a light then. You gotta flick the light. Flick on the light. Just flip it. What? <laughs> I'm not like. I'm not like. I'm not like all this. I'm not like all this. Ah! You just touch it. You gotta click the link. Click it. I'm waiting, or I'll have to give the money to. Ah! I'm gonna give the money to Gary. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting really impatient. <laughs> what was that? Oh, here we go. Here he is. Hey, I'm Mary. Can you see us? No. There you are. Yeah, hey. Hi. Hey. hey. What's going on? This is my neighbor, Vlad. <laughs> Vlad. Yeah, it's me, Vlad. Short cat, short cat, short cat. It's more time here. Why are you shirtless? Yeah. <laughs> I have the card, but you're frozen. I can't see you. See me, see me here, see me right here. Huh? <laughs> what's so what? funny? What's so funny? Yeah, what's going on? You're hilarious. Listen, listen, listen. I have no time. I'm busy at the office. Well, then hurry up and do it. I know. I have the card here. We got to see you. I got to see you. I can't. You're frozen. I see your beautiful face and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me, listen to me. If you can't say the card, stop calling me. Okay. I'm just trying to give you the card, but I want to see you. We got three cards. We talked three cards. We talked earlier. She borrowed money from me to give it to you, so you give it to him, so he give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Like he's broke. He's yeah, absolutely broke. I got broke. no money. He came to me. I'm his boss. He came to me to borrow money from me, so I give him money oh. so he can buy cards for you. Tomorrow morning, your phone will be. Transfer immediately. Oh, okay. Are you are you are you naked? <laughs> yeah, don't show don't, don't show us your junk. No, 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 no. I can't do that. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't forget about it. You're a good don't looking man though. You got some abs and stuff. Yeah, you're oh, like no. a model. Are you modeling? You should be. How much time do you have over there? How much time? I mean, I got all the time in the world. Send it, all right? Send okay. It for it. Yeah, here. He's oh, holding your flesh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You can go, yeah, take a picture of it. It was actually right. nighttime for him at this all point. I'm a little nervous. Just stop. Uh, it to one place. Huh? <laughs> oh, you need me to flip it? All right, there. Turn it, turn it so I can see it. Oh, okay, there you go. I'm sorry. Just turn it. Oh, turn it. Oh, again? I'm sorry. Like there you go. Turn it so I can see it. Can like see that? <laughs> I can't. What? I don't know what you're saying. You got to talk slower. I can't see the number. I can't see the number. Oh, here. Turn the it says Google on it. Google. <laughs> Play. I said turn the car. <laughs> How many times do I? Is it like you got like a little clock situation, or just go this way? We, yeah, clockwise or not clockwise? Which one you want? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I'm, I'm with you. you. I have problems. I know, I know from the, of, of the joke. It's not a joke. What, 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 <laughs> if you can't send the card here, stop contacting me again. <laughs> you know you won when the scammer says, stop contacting me. Oh my <laughs> god. So we had some more back. Oh, I, think I got him on the call one more time, I think. Hey. 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We want to give it to you. I, but I have one question. We have one question for you. What, what, what question? Look, I know you're in uh, Lagos, Nigeria. Um, how come you're scamming people for a living? You are very stupid, but ask me that question. question. No, it's you're, not a stupid question. You're stupid or I'm stupid? You are stupid. I'm stupid? Stop. No, yes, you're no. very stupid. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what's funny is I got your face recorded. I got your location tracked. I know. <laughs> you're very stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> Dude, he's still trying to get the cards. What? He said fool, and then he said, <laughs> send me the cards or stop calling. He's such a freaking idiot. Hello? Hey, my dear friend, listen to me. I am right here to joke with you. If you can't touch me, you can't stop contacting me again. I have three. No, I have three cards for you, but you have to come back to the meeting. Click the link. No. Yeah. No. Do it. Uh, listen to me. Do it. I can't do a can. Come back into the meeting. <laughs> come back into the meeting. I'll show. I have three, three cards. I give him money. He He's going to chop me if I don't pay him back. I'm gonna, if you're not gonna, you, you know Why? 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 <laughs> Why did I? I call you fool, but he's still calling. <laughs> we call him out for scamming, and he's still trying to scam us. Yes? Hey! I'm gonna start chopping. He's gonna start spanking, gonna... and then he's gonna start chopping. Yeah. So I need you to join the meeting. Come on. Listen to me. I'm listening. You stop me. Stop calling me again. I got this it. is a lot. I'm gonna chop him. He's gonna, he's gonna chop me, and then he's gonna chop you. <laughs> chop you. Yeah. He, he's spanking me. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please join the call so I can get the money. You already lost your phone. It's not my problem. You no. don't make you take away your phone. He's so spanking you my booty. I, I'm going to take that booty. I'm going to put it in your face. You have to give my money back. You're yeah, very stupid. If you need your, if you need your phone... Tell it's me not my phone. problem if you're very stupid. I just need your help. Join the call. Come on. I'm trying to... She borrowed money from yeah. Russian mafia. I borrowed money from Russian spanker. Huh? If you can't do that... She'll clip the link and cut. <laughs> <laughs> your <laughs> <ass>. <laughs> ridiculous. Ass. Crikey! My best Steve Irwin accent. Flashback. One day earlier. We were trying to do this yesterday. We tried. We missed the window. They all went to bed around the same time I did. <laughs> they, they're like, yeah, uh, they, they relate to Ashton. I like the one that like cannot walk with a long tail. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. It's, they always do that. I mean. They do? You know them? Yeah, I know them. Because yesterday I was chasing them on, on, on that side. Uh, and I grabbed one. They already know me. They hate me. Yeah, I bet. They already. Yeah, you're a dick. Hi. Hi. He blinked. It looks like they're wearing like a like a shirt. The skin is like so loose. Oh, hello. Okay, you have to go attack Connor. Your mission is to run up to the camera guy and scare the shit out of him. Crawl up his leg and bite his dick. All right. So. Shit. That's it. <laughs> Scared the out of me. So I want to find the gigantic one, the one that walks like you. Oh, is that the, is that the mission? Okay. All right, we have a special feature presentation right now, okay? I have analogies. Yeah, let's go. So I have a mission for you. I want you all to picture for one moment that all those birds over there are viruses on your computer or potential threats online. And he is the Guardio Man, your Guardio Genie. Show the people what happens when Guardio gets in your computer looking out for you. Very easy. Una, dos, tres, let's go! <laughs> Guardio. No. It, it is a lot harder now to get scammers. Like to, that. I don't want to say to be that stupid because a lot of them are that stupid, but I think they're a lot more cautious now because of the surge in scam baiting. And by the way, scam baiting community, whoever you are, we love you. It's like a time capsule, you know? <sighs> it is. And you know what's so funny? The couple things in the video. 
I had exactly the same reactions and it will say stuff and it was like, oh shit, I said it mm -hmm. three years ago. Yeah, so good. I've been trying for the last several days to get in touch with the scammer again. With the same uh, email address? Well, here's the problem. So I started with the email address, nationsunited089 at gmail. Right. That's the only email that I could seemingly find that I corresponded with them on. Sometimes they have multiple. This one only had one. Um, I sent an email and I just said in the subject line, hello, are you there? That was this week. And I got a bounce back. Under address Ryan not Benson. found. Yeah, under Rand Benson. Okay. So I got a bounce back, address not found. So this email address has been completely removed, uh -huh. which is great because any of the spam emails that had been sent out in the past with that email address won't be able to link to a victim anymore. So that's a victory. So the email address was down. So then I went through all of the old chats and tried to define all the different phone numbers that they used, which were several. Uh, one from Nigeria, which I got no response to. I texted, I called. One from Benin, which I did the same thing, no response. And then I found the US phone number, which is probably text now, 351. Yeah. And I, I sent a text, actually I texted on Google chat, uh, Google Hangouts first. Holy shit. It's Mary, answer the phone. Uh, no f***ing way. The f and then they called me back and I, I didn't answer it yet, but then they said, answer the phone. So this number is still active, but I didn't want to assume it was the scammer because it's a text now number yeah. and those things can get reassigned. So I, I, I wasn't sure yet. I wasn't going to go full on bombarding them. But I said, can I ask who this is? I might have the wrong number. Trying to reach Mary from the UN. And then they responded, it's, it's Mary. Mary, answer the phone. So call again. And then I got them on the phone. When? Earlier. Today? When, yeah. Very briefly. And I wanted more, but, but I called and this would happen. Hello? And I was like, hello, hello. Mary? He said, wife again. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Is this Mary from the UN? Just Mary? It sounds like her, right? I was saying hello, Dude. hello. But that sounds like her, right? Yes! And the fact that she said it's Mary. Very high chance that this is the same person. Let's call it back. Well, but here's the problem. Okay, I'm gonna call it back. But after this, I, she texted me back and she said, how about we just text? It seems our connection keeps getting interrupted. So I made a Google Hangout link or a Google chat link. They never engaged. I said, I'll text you from my other phone, which I did on text now. I said, hi, Mary, this is Ryan. And I sent them pictures of themselves, the guy and the woman. And I said, is this you? I need to talk to you urgently. I gave the meeting link again. Hello, it's urgent. And they never responded. Sorry, the number you've requested cannot be dialed. <laughs> Did I get blocked? Sorry, the number you've requested cannot be dialed. You just answered me. Wow. Sorry, the number you've requested cannot be dialed. And then when I called it back, I'll call it back now, this is what happens. Disconnected. Sorry, the number you've requested cannot be dialed. So, but I'm not just blocked because I called from this number, this number, and three other numbers, and it's not receiving calls. But it just received calls two hours ago which leads me to believe either they shut off the phone or disconnected the number, maybe temporarily. Sometimes they do that to like wait for the thing to stop and then they bring the number back, but it won't receive any calls right now, but that's new. They were receiving calls just a couple hours ago. So I don't know what the trigger was if they, maybe they saw our and old also communication. And also you see when it's delivered, you know, like when it says, yeah. like, posting. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, they got and it. I'm still, I can still text, nothing happens. Yeah. And, and but no matter what number I call from. Sorry, the number you've requested cannot be dialed. 
But you know what? So they didn't just this block is, me yeah. because they would have just blocked the numbers I was telling, talking to them on. I tried on separate numbers that I've never contacted them with and it's the same thing. And spoof card. The scary thing about all this situation, we can be laughing about, we can like, he can be naked and stuff. Three years f later, they still doing it. The number's still active. They're probably still using different email addresses. They probably have several email addresses and several phone numbers. If you're watching this video, you're gonna see upcoming video with Sheila, AKA social catfish investigation that we've done for one year. Nigeria, we're coming for you. And this face must be prosecuted mm -hmm. and we must knock on his door as well. Yeah. He still, they, not so, he, they still doing it. Yeah. And you know what, I remember reading, the, I can't read the comments anymore because YouTube deleted it. But uh, I remember there were a lot of comments on this video about her. And obviously you can hear him feeding her lines. Right, right. And you can hear kids in the background. So maybe they're married. But it also gives human trafficking vibes. I and a lot of people that. said that on the I original video. That. Like maybe she's not, because she looked really uncomfortable when she, she wouldn't even look at me in the eye when she was on the phone. Yeah, I mean. But like at least he's engaging and like can look and talk. He's confident in what he's he doing. He kind of she looks naked looks, and she giggled. Yeah. As we told you before, right now we're in Mexico filming. We are collecting tons of these scammer profiles and stories. And when we go to Nigeria, we'll be um, pulling the trigger, so to speak, metaphorically, on uh, finding these people and hopefully getting them prosecuted. Have you, I know you sent um, this picture to uh, Zero Day. Yes, Mr. I, did. Little. I did. Have you sent this to David? I'll give this to Social Catfish. Um, I mean. Yeah. They just next door from us where they, they were here. I will, uh, unfortunately, every wow. piece of communication now that I have th to them is disconnected. This phone number we'll worked this morning. We'll try, we'll try, we'll try it later. Yeah, I have we'll a feeling later. if they've been using this phone number, they probably have so many victims uh, linked to this phone number. They're not just gonna unplug it permanently. Yeah. We've seen the call centers do this. Well, they'll just do a complete total block Shutdown. of incoming calls for a few hours and then and they, they, turn, it, back they back turn it back on thinking the baiter gave up. So we will try later. But, but I did confirm that it's still connected and she did say she was married. So what the fuck? And that's a fucking scary thought that I had immediately. Three years later, same family, same people, whatever, whoever they related, whoever, whatever, mm -hmm. they still doing it. It's terrifying. It's hilarious, but it's terrifying. Yeah, it is hilarious when we laugh about it and expose his naked ass. So because of his uh, protection of this video deletion, uh, now we'll have a whole new wave of people that will see this person's face. Well, thank you, YouTube. So for thank you, me. YouTube. You just brought a whole nother wave of attention, which I know the video is removed because of my email address. Usually when these things are removed, I think most scam baiters can attest to, it's because that we revealed the face of a scammer, which of course, according to YouTube, we have to protect the scammers and the predators, but, not this time. We're now gonna recycle his face to the world. And uh, I don't think this will be the last we're seeing of Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mary from the United Nations. In he can't even insult. It's like the Indian scammers when they, their English sucks. <laughs> Fuck us. Get loose. Get loose, fool. Uh, LOL, Abby, give the cards to your mother What does that even mean? <laughs> pussy, and, and I read ass pushy. pussy, and he says ass black. What does that mean? <laughs> What the hell does that mean? It's dark in Africa right now. I mean, that's what he said. F her ass. Joker. Fool. Joker ass, ass fool. fool. Block you now. But he didn't because I was able to talk to him again. It's very, very interesting. I'm glad that actually Bye. happened this. Because we literally revisiting, mm -hmm. opening the case that we yeah. thought it was closed. And a lot of people that and are newer to our open. channel have never seen this, this guy's face. And now you have. Um, in this video, we'll have to just so it doesn't get removed yeah, again. Yeah. We're Stop probably gonna have to you email. blur the email addresses and the phone numbers, which is so stupid. But on Trilogy Plus, none of that shit matters. Go to TrilogyPlus.com, you're gonna see everything unblurred. Um, and, you know uh, what? Trilogy Plus, we love you. Mustafa's coming. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. I'm so ready for Africa. I'm so ready mm -hmm. for Nigeria. We have so many cases. We have so many um, scammers to arrest. Yep. I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I also cannot f***ing wait for you guys to see what we're actually in Mazatlan, Mexico for. It's coming very soon to the Trilogy Media YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet, please give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you hadn't seen it before, maybe you got to revisit it, maybe you had seen it, but this scammer's a dumbass and we're happy to bring this to you once again. Actually, a huge shout out to Social Catfish. The whole reason why we're in Mexico right now is because we're investigating, we've been investigating for almost a year, Sheila's story. I think I can confidently say is 
the most elaborate story we've ever investigated. The most craziest, the most sad story, elaborate. Billions of dollars of scammed money on this in this story. It's absolutely f***ing mind-blowing, so much to the point that we've not only traveled all over the country, but we've come to Mexico to put the seal on this story. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. So this was fun to revisit. And even though scam baiting and scams themselves have come so far in the three years since this video was posted, a lot of the red flags and things to look for are still the same. And in this case, when you're getting emails that are promising you large amounts of money or they're claiming to be from a government organization or even just a, a regular company that you know of, don't just take their word for it. A good first place to start is to get the email address of the sender, not just the name they put in the profile of the sender. Hit that little drop down arrow, get the actual email address. And in many cases you'll see just like this one, this was a Gmail, not a government email, not the real United Nations and certainly not gonna give you all the money that, he, that this dumbass scammer was promising. In most cases, real victims are not gonna get this far as far as seeing this shirtless dumbass scammer. It's very ridiculous in this video, but it's also a very real thing and a very real scam. And as you can see from this video, three years later, they're still f***ing working. So you're trying to say, Ash, that we not rich anymore? Because I already planned how to spend that $69 million. I just need to borrow like, Three hundred fifty dollars. Uh, well, that's a lot of pumpkin shots in the in the live stream for you. A lot of pumpkin shots. But honestly, when you see that somebody, regardless of which kind of uh, type of scams, if somebody is pressuring you, somebody telling you, do not talk to your uh, loved ones, neighbors, just be quiet. Do what I say. Don't get that pressure. Just say, look, I need a second. Talk to people that you love. Talk to your brothers, sisters, cats, and figure out that something is going on. Cats. If we do end up having to blur anything in this video, if YouTube's making us add any blurs, just go to Trilogy Plus. It'll be all unblurred there. Trilogyplus.com, seven days for free. Make sure you get your Guardio free trial, seven days discount with guard.io slash Trilogy. The whole reason we can be here to make this stuff. We love you so much, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching, and welcome, welcome to Trilogy, Trilogy Media. Media. Yahoo! Rocks! Rocks! Rocks.